How's it going? It's all right, dude. Dude, what the fuck are you drinking? Mm. Iced tea. Ha <laughs> ha, gay. You're a teetotaler. Yeah, totally. Well, I can see what's on your agenda tonight. I'm getting drunk, so what? Nothing, man, nothing. It's your life. <clears throat> Every time you come around, you act like a sarcastic ass. I may be sarcastic, but I'm not an ass. That's your job. Oh, so I'm an ass? I'm not the one going glug. Shut the fuck up! You don't know what I'm going through. I think I do, fuckface. I go through it every time you get drunk. What the hell are you talking about? Every time you go, oh, woe is me, and open the bottle, I feel it right along with you. And you know what I'm talking about. I've had enough of the hangovers and the bitterness. Well, maybe I have it. You were sober for 15 years. 15 fucking years and you've thrown it all away. I threw it all away because of that cunt of a wife decided to royally fuck me over and left me with nothing. And what you're doing is helping you? Helps me forget. Yes, you need to forget. But you're going about it the wrong way. Jesus, especially at your age. I could give a fuck less about the age. Look, it was cute at one time. Do you remember when you were 23 years old and you were too drunk to drive the work truck and your cousin was driving and you get the bright idea of grabbing a hold of the roll bars upon the truck hoisting yourself out of the window, taking all your clothes off and just throwing them across the fucking highway so you can go naked truck surfing. I was with you then, you dumb fuck. But we had no cares. We had no responsibility. <laughs> Look, you gotta admit that was funny. I'm not saying it wasn't. But bottom line, you should have tried to work on your marriage. She didn't want to make it work. I was at my lowest point when she left. And I was stone sober. That's why I say fuck it. If I'm going to go out, I'm going out on my own terms. <laughs>